Tonight, after a riot broke out near Pilate's Petroleum, Jesus the Nazarene has been handed over by Pilate to the officers and chief priests to be crucified. A man named Judas Iscariot confessed to the allegations of selling Jesus out. Caiaphas has said it was necessary to arrest Jesus in the dead of night. And the multimillionaire Richard Green knows exactly which cause his donation will be given to. And last chance to enter the chocolate egg competition. All this and more on Jerusalem Tonight. Good evening, I'm Esther Lewis and this is Jerusalem Tonight. A riot nearly broke out near Pilate's Petroleum residence earlier this morning due to Jesus supposedly claiming to be King of the Jews. I was there at the scene and had an interview with Pilate directly afterwards. Here is that interview now. Hello, Pilate. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us about what has just happened. A pleasure as always, Esther. It's good to be back in the warm. Indeed. Early this morning, I saw you enter your residence and then call Jesus in. What did you talk about? I asked him, are you the king of the Jews? And his response was? Well, it was genuinely strange. He didn't directly answer my question. He said, do you ask this on your own or have others told you about me? Obviously I'm not Jewish, so I don't know or care if he is the King of Jews, but the chief priests had asked me to investigate the situation and the crowd was hotting up. So I felt it was my duty. I honored their request. I can tell you, I asked him to specifically tell me what he had done that had caused me to be asked to be his investigator. And his reply to that? And again, he didn't actually answer my question. So he was silent? No, no. He, he said, my kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my, fo my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jewish leaders. As it is, it's not from this world. That reply seems rather sketchy to me, but clearly he thinks that he has a kingdom. So did you ask him where this kingdom is and if he thinks he is a king? Yes, I did. Uh, he said... You say rightly that I am a king. Did you say he was a king? No, I, uh, well, not exactly. But you do think he is a king? <sighs> Pilate? Pilate, do you think Jesus is a king? What I can tell you is that his words were, for this, I was born, and for this I came into this world to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. And what is the truth? That's exactly what I asked him. He didn't reply. I witnessed you promise to release a murderer called Barabbas and have Jesus severely beaten. Has that happened? Yes, I... Yes, I did release Barabbas and I did order Jesus to be beaten. And that has taken place. And do you think that what you have done is wise? Do you think that maybe you acted under peer pressure? I think anyone in my position would have done the same. I think it was the wisest decision I could have made. You were there. You saw the riot that could ensue. I had to deal with the one to save the many, and, and I thought I dealt with it with integrity, actually. Giving some power to the people, uh, allowing them to decide whether Jesus or Barabbas was set free. I, and they chose, they, they chose Barabbas. I don't know that peer pressure comes into it. So you think you did the right thing? You think you did your duty? I do. I did. I fulfilled my duty. I did what was expected of me. 
And finally, I saw this morning's events ending with you handing Jesus over to the chief priests and their officers to be crucified. Yes. How did that feel? Have you made the right decision, do you think? Pilot, I'm going to have to press you for an answer. Do you think you made the right decision? These are unprecedented times. I, I made it clear to him that I have the power to release him. And he said, you have no power against me unless it is given to you from above. I don't think I fully understand what he meant by this. The crowd, the crowd really wanted him to be crucified. I, I really did try and save him, fight for him. <clears throat> but to no avail. Have you made the right decision then? You saw, I took a bowl of water in front of the chief, the priest, the officers, the crowd, and I washed my hands as a sign that I am innocent of his blood. He is a just man. So you do think he is a king? I think he is a just person and I- Washed your hands? Yes. I've washed my hands. Pilate there this morning with his account of what happened in Jerusalem. I'm now joined by Alison Crow, our political correspondent from her home. Hello Alison, it is good of you to join us this evening to discuss the unfolding events around the man people are now calling Jesus King of the Jews. It now appears that the arrest of Jesus took place in the dead of night, I quote Caiaphas, chief priest. What are your thoughts? Hello Esther, yes, thank you for having me. It has seemed very strange to me that the arrest took at that particular time. Indeed, Alison, I agree. We know Jesus has talked in the streets, in the fields, by lakes, even up mountains to many, many people. I actually was shopping the other day and heard him talking about seeds being sown on hard ground, thorny ground, soft ground, something like that. To be honest, I didn't stop to listen, but yes, the chief priests, teachers of the law, the officers, they've been around him constantly over the last three years. Why didn't they just arrest him in broad daylight? I think, Esther, that maybe a lot of what he has said, what he stands for, is really good. There have been a lot of people following him, but that's not so good for Herod and Pilate. You know, there's a, a status quo, there is a way. And people have to adhere to that in order for there to be peace and stability. But with Jesus, he's not really been sticking to that. He's been getting too many people riled up against the Roman authorities. Do you think that's a fair statement? Yes, Alison, I do. There has to be order to things, stability, as you say. But it looks like the authorities may have seen some kind of protest if they'd arrested him in broad daylight. So they did it at night. But how they knew his exact location is quite dubious. Although I think you were about to shed some light on that for us, Alison. Yes, I am, Esther. There has been a report recently, along with some video footage, of a man called Judas Iscariot. Now, Mr Iscariot was one of Jesus's followers. However, allegedly, Mr Iscariot has sold Jesus out for 30 pieces of silver. Do we have the video footage? Can we watch it now? Yes, I believe we do, Alison. This is Mo Cohen from the Jerusalem Times who got wind of the contract between Mr Iscariot and the chief priest and pressurised Iscariot until she got an answer. Some viewers may find this footage slightly disturbing. Look, excuse me, excuse me, are, are you yeah, Judas what? Iscariot? 
Yeah, my no, name's. I'm uh, busy. I'm busy. My name's Mo Cohen. I'm from the Jerusalem Times. Uh, right. It's Judas. Yes, Judas. Can I just? What do you want? I just want to ask you: Is it true that you dobbed your best friend in Jesus of Nazareth to the no. soldiers in the Garden of Gathering I'm busy, I'm busy. by kissing Go him away. on the cheek? Did you kiss him on the cheek? No. Did you dob in your friend? No, I'm really busy. Did you get I'm some money get for it? Did Did the chief priest give you a whole load of money to dob in your friend Jesus Christ? Is that right? Did you? How much money? And what are you going to do with the money, Judas? What What are you going to do with that money from Caiaphas? I didn't take. I, I took the money, but I didn't want it. So, what, 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 what are you going to spend it on? I don't. I gave it back to them. I don't want it. But um, you, you did tell Je the officers who Jesus Christ was, didn't you? In yeah, yes. But just go away. Go away. Judas is Iscariot there being forced to speak about selling out his friend Jesus. And now in other news, Richard Green, the multimillionaire, intends to donate three and a half million to the rebuilding and shaping of the local graveyards, which were destroyed around 3 p.m. this afternoon. But let's just break away from that bulletin at the moment. We have just received confirmed reports that Jesus of Nazareth was pronounced dead at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Respected member of the council, Joseph Arimathea, has donated his burial plot to Jesus after asking Pilate if he could bury the body today, even though it is the Jewish festival of Passover. Permission has been granted by Pilate and the burial has taken place. So just to make it completely clear to all our viewers, we now have official confirmation that Jesus of Nazareth was pronounced dead at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Obviously, our thoughts and prayers go out to the family and friends. But now all the political unrest can come to an end and things can finally go back to the way they were before. And now for competition time. Remember, answers must be emailed in by midnight tonight. Would you like to win all these chocolate eggs in this basket? If you would, just complete the following statement. Do not put all of your eggs into A, the back of a lorry, B, one basket, C, the cat litter tray. Email your answers to jerusalemtonight at gmail.com. Answers must be in by midnight on Friday. The winner will be notified on Saturday. The best of luck to you all. And the best of luck to you all. And that is all we have time for tonight. We hope you all have a very pleasant evening. From all of the team here at Jerusalem tonight, good night.